Hey guys, welcome back. Part two starts now. Enjoy. So here we're gonna create, we're gonna do the same thing as before and get the AI to just move randomly along the plane. So, um, for tasks, they have to begin like this. Uh, event, receive, execute. That's how you begin a task. And then you end the task by doing finish execute so everything in between here is going to be where our code is um, so let's begin first thing first we're going to just uh, cast to our enemy controller so the brain of the this enemy AI we're going to get the pawn or get the controlled pawn and then we're going to cast to our ASP character so that we can get all of the variables from our ASP character Let's move this next we need to call a couple things um, First things first, let's do what we intended to do, and then we'll set up the instigator afterwards. So we, let's do uh, get actor location, which is over here, um, and get the random random point in a certain radius. Bump that up to 500, and then our whole purpose is to move or to do AI move to. Um, which we're going to plug it directly in here. The destination is going to be this little calculation here. Um, the pawn is going to be this pawn or the character. And if it succeeds, if it succeeds, go to finish execute and make it a success um, and then don't do anything for the fail so now if we if we run this what will happen is it will just he'll, he'll just run around like he was doing before now notice that there is no delay at all he's just running 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 if this is what you want that's a good thing otherwise Let's go back to our behavior tree and let's pull out one task called wait, which is very simple to simu very similar to delay. Unreal has some tasks that are pre-built for you. Um, so under the task, you can see make noise, move directly to or directly towards if you wanted to move directly towards a player, play some form of sound effect, um, that's the one we created, uh, and so on and so forth. So for wait, we'll just make that like a second because I think the delay looks nice. And so now you can see that there's little numbers here, zero and one. That is the order of which it will execute. Remember, top to bottom, left to right. So if I put it here, it will wait one second and then do the ran, um, random move location but I wanted to do this one first then this one so I made it like this okay and then if you play you'll see that he runs waits for a second moves to another one waits for a second and so on and so forth so that's good now let's create the actual instigator for our thing and I'm going to put this inside random move location. Now, if you recall from the previous uh, the previous tutorial, we created the blackboard, which contains a, a bunch of variables of which we're going to use. Um, in order to be able to call the 
those bl are those different blackboard events we need to create a variable um, called a blackboard key selector set that to public and the name in this case we're going to have two names one of them's our boolean so let's call it threat and then we're going to create another one with the name of instigator and also set that to public. So this one, we're going to get that uh, damage property that we did, uh, threat noted, and we're gonna pump that into threat. So we need to get this over here and then set black blackboard as a boolean statement to threat okay and then next we need to set the other one which is mentioning what the instigator is so over here get instigated object because that was the name of our instigator part let's put it over here um, get the instigator blackboard value and then we're also going to set this as an object so we'll have to cast to it whenever we want to use it once you do that you'll be able to access these two points um, before we do that though we need to go to our blackboard event it's also located here and create those two keys so this one we're gonna call just threat or maybe is threat and then create another key uh, an object called instigator it doesn't matter if the names are not the same between those two things because you'll see down here um, you'll be able to set which one so threat is or threat is is threat and instigator is instigator so both values are now equal to each other and that's also one of the kind of cool parts about this is that you they don't necessarily have to be named the same so now that we have these two variables and this is a boolean variable we can actually create a decorator which we're going to be doing that now selects between this one and this one and whatever we're going to have on this side over here so by doing the instigator you right click on whatever uh, composite that you want to use in this case sequence sorry there we go um, go to add decorator and then we're going to do a blackboard base condition now the condition that we're going to be doing is if threat is not set to run this because we want it to just randomly run around until something hits it and that is our first section of the behavior tree and if you look here he's running around because it's not set and then as soon as I hit him he's going to stop because we don't have any code in place all right, come on there we go so he's gonna stop another cool way that you can see it which I, I think is actually a very cool feature um, is that you can have you can see your behavior tree as you're running it which is especially nice especially if you have two screens um, you can see that simulating and how the arrows are moving and then when you hit it you'll see that it turns red oh hold on what is it doing anyways um uh, 
sorry, I, I just want to be able to show you this. Huh. Well, normally, you'll be able to just take a look at this while this is going and uh, see it. But this by itself is, is proof enough. You'll see that he pauses and then when we hit him, he stops. Because we don't have any code on the other side. And so, this is how you... Um, this is essentially how you work with blueprints and how you build your AI to whatever you want it to be. In the next episode, we'll be building the other side. Um, well, I should really say part one of the other side. And um, yeah, we'll be we'll be having it look at the player and then um, starting to uh, create that or start firing the arrow at towards the character and get all the calculations proper and uh, so on and so forth. So I'll see you in the next one.